How you guys doing? How you guys doing? I'm Danny K back again. Back again. A video, a video every day. A video every day. I'm going to keep going on. I want to 500 subscribers. That's what I'm aiming for. 500 subscribers. So comment, like, share this video if you can. You get me? So today I want to talk about... Um, I had a lot of topics, I'll be honest with you. I want to talk about the subconscious mind. Because I was talking to somebody else about that. And it was very deep, very intrinsic. I also wanted to talk about, you know, a red pill philosophy. But then I also wanted to talk about scripture that I read. So I'm just going to choose one out of the three. I'm going to talk about the red pill, a red pill philosophy, you know. Those are the videos that got me the most views, the most likes, and whatnot. People want to realize or want to know, like, how can I get this female or can I get, get this girl in my life? One thing I realized, the best things happen in life is when you're following your purpose and on your mission. You as a man, you, you one, on, on, one of my mentors, one of my mentors told me, you as a man, you are the CEO of your company. So my name is Danny. Daniel, call me Danny. Danny Enterprise. Danny Inc. Danny Incorporated. I'm the CEO and founder of Danny Incorporated, or Danny Incorporated. How would I want my life to be run? How would I want my corporation to run? Now, if you start putting, if you say you want FEMA, FEMA is like an employee that's going to be in your company. If you're going to have that and you start focusing on the employee more than your company, then what's going to happen to your company? Because you're going to be viewing things short-sighted. You're not thinking what's best for the company. You think what's best for the employee. Think about that. Let that sink in. You get me? A lot of times I realize as men, sometimes we come and we we see a female and we get into the, you have your own company and you get into like, okay, I'm part of her company. Now, once you get part of her company, you got to follow her rules. You get me? You can't be in her company like, I'm red pill. I'm not going to do it. When you already subscribe to her notions and to what she wants. You feel me? Or oh, let's say she's an employee. She's like, I want a house. I want this and that. But, you know, in your company, in you incorporated, you corporation, you corporation, you incorporated, that's not feasible. And you still follow her wishes and you realize that you file for bankruptcy. You're doing all this. You're down in the dirt. It's because you follow the employee's best wishes. You didn't follow what's best for the company, what's best for you. You know? So the first of philosophy is focus on yourself, you know? Focus on yourself. And I realized a lot of people be like, oh, why don't young men want to get into relations? Why don't young men? It's because, first and foremost, if, and if a man wants to do it, he's getting it. He doesn't have really nothing to give on, a, on or so forth for the world. So he wants to get it. You get me? So as a man, you focus on yourself. And the furthest I've ever been is when you focus on yourself. When you go monk, when you go, when you go through a period of not doing anything, semen retention, you know, being um, abstinent, you know, and you're going to see the biggest growth then because I, I read, this is video I've seen. And he, was, and he said not having a lot. When you, pleasure brings poverty. So when you go through the mud, you go through the grind. And you do that, and you do what's necessary, and it hurts. You're going through the daily, daily hurt, you could say. You know, you're not, you're not taking, you're not getting caught up in the pleasures of life. You focus on yourself. When you focus on yourself, it's not very pleasurable. You know, working out is not. I just did two hundred push ups, did some um two hundred sit ups, one hundred um hundred squats, fifty pull ups. Went to the bench behind me, lifted a little bit of iron. You feel me? It was not fun. I wanted to buy. Oh, I need to sleep, man. I don't feel like doing this. But I realized it's the bigger goal. It's not what this little employee or this little thing inside me is saying to do. That's for short term pleasure. That's gonna prevent long term gains. You know. I want to get my abs back. You get me. I'm focusing on myself, and if I focus on pleasure, pleasure on myself. Oh, I'm gonna eat McDonald's. I'm gonna eat the sofa. I'm gonna eat food that I like. It, my life's gonna deteriorate, and nobody wants to be part of that. You know, if you, as a man, you're the CEO of your own company, and you have a female that wants to be with you or wants to deal with you, she's not gonna go and deal with a, you know, a crappy company, a company that got no benefits, a company that got no cash flow, 
A company that got nothing going for itself. A company that's going bankrupt. No one's going to do that. Let's be real here. Let's be real here. So work on yourself. Work on yourself. Get the money. Work on your health. Work on your work. Work on your spirituality. Work on your mental. You get me? Because nobody's going to do that for you. Nobody's going to be like, oh, here you go. No, nobody cares. You get me? Remember, you're your own CEO. Focus on yourself and do you a favor and focus on yourself and write down what your corporation is going to do. And I got this from Glenda Camry. Shout out to Glenda. Shout out to Glenda Camry. I said his last name wrong. Shout out to Glenda. You know, he 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 said that. He's like, you're your own corporation. You're your own business. You may not have, you know, a legal structure, LLC, but you're your own business. You're your own entity. You're your own corporation. Now, you got your money. That's the cash flow. That's the cash coming in. Now, how are you going to sort those checks and balance? How are you going to look? What's going to be your aura as a business? You know? If you're going to have somebody in your team... How you gonna want them to? You don't want them to be all unhealthy, disorganized, ugly looking. No, you don't want nobody on your team like that. You don't want no apply, nobody. You don't want to employ nobody like that. So don't have a high measure for someone else when you're not gonna have a high measure on yourself. That's why you need to focus on yourself. And I realize this like even more now. I'm looking at back in my life. I'm like the time I made the most progress in my life is when I just completely focused on myself, 100 percent. And I did not let any disturb anything disturb me. I was on my purpose, on my mission. Because at the end of the day, you the, who who do you think is gonna pick you? Who do you think is gonna pick the winners? You know, nobody wants to be with a loser. You know, so have that in your mind. You your own corporation. Remember that. You your own corporation. Whatever your name is, corporator, corporated, that is you. Now, how would you want to present yourself? And it might take time. I'm not going to lie. It took me two years to get where I'm at now, man. Two years. First, I had to mentally shift my mind. Then my body followed. <laughs> you get me? If some people t- take shorter, some people even take longer. But once that clicks in, you start realizing that, then you're the prize. You need to go out there and get it. You, Nobody's really going to help you. You know? Nobody's really going to help you. That's why you see more bones out here that are men. Than females. Because nobody's going to save you. Unless you have some rich fat. But even then, nobody's going to save you. Because the people are going to look. You could do it yourself. You could be on your own. Nobody's going to save you. So focus on yourself, guys. Rule number one. Focus on yourself. That's a red blue truth. Focus on yourself. Because nobody's going to do it for you. Alright. Over and out. Take care. Be blessed. Brothers. Kings. Fathers. Anybody else watching this channel, please comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think. If you disagree with me, if you think I'm BS, just tell me. Take care.